Rack short video game review. It's the year 2052, and humanity has a machine that infinitely creates, you know, resources and then aliens. Yeah, you know where this is going. You, you are the hero, and you're trying to stop this alien invasion from stealing this one thing. You are running through these kind of meh and repetitive disposal facilities and such, trying to take a shortcut, but there's, of course, still a ton of enemies. You know, crawling robot, you know, spiders, humanoid, lizard aliens, cyborgs, and the like. Each of the eight, nine total, levels have at least one new boss each, and they're mini-bosses, which gets really cool. And the the bosses are some of the best of this game. That's where it really gets memorable, creative, varied. You know, each of these, the, the boss themselves and the, the battle against them are really intense and fun. You know, you have to figure out how do you evade their attacks, how many attacks do they have, you know, when is it best to shoot, what is it best to shoot with, conserve your ammo just for that situation, you know, try not to take your eyes off them, that kind of thing. The the weapons, there, there's only five and only four of them are actually projectile ones, and even though they're, you know, they're relatively cool, some of them, they're just not that compelling. You know, the, the game very much evokes the, the, the atmosphere of the old school 90s first person shooters, and as others have pointed out, you're better served just replaying one of those. It you know obviously the graphics are more yeah newer than than those the the graphics are quite good anyway the 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 weapon design in those were far more interesting far more memorable than anything in in this of of that sort and the the guns tend to be too weak it you know the the racking is this kill chain system. And it would be fine if killing wasn't so slow and just, yeah, again, you know, the action gets really repetitive. And it's just, it, it would be fine if it was like, as long as you hit them, you know, at, you know, that is in part, you know, you get points by killing a lot in, you know, and by hitting a lot in a relatively short amount of time, but the kill chaining you have to kill them, and yeah, a lot of the guns just the, the guns tend to be too weak for that, so you end up running around with the one hit kill sword, and that gets really old, and you know you really you feel like you shouldn't have to you know it's it's not supposed to be a game about this guy who runs around with a sword. it's a first person shooter with a sword so and really it's just the the guns are kind of too slow and yeah not not powerful enough it would it would work better if it was just by how much damage you do or how fast you're just hitting them and shooting them because instead there, there aren't enough enemies in the levels for you to properly do these kill chains and when there are you know you have to choose between trying to squeeze them in to the kill chain or just running around trying to kill them without taking too much damage yourself like you would in one of these 90s first person shooters. The mods are quite good. There's almost 50 elements total, you know, 17 of them levels, well really 21 of them levels, almost all of them really good and the remaining, you know, 20 something mods are quite fun. You know, some of them are just really simple and just change a little but there's certainly reason to go in there and really dig deep and try to, yeah, try to explore all the different ones. And it's, it can be a lot of fun. And definitely, if you, you know, if you consider it at all, if you, or if you do play it, make sure to check out the mods. The, the levels are far more varied and interesting and open than in the game itself. And, yeah, there are a lot of little fixes in these mods that just make the game more fun to play. The 
alternate modes in this are really simple and they're really just there for speedrunners and people who play the same level over and over to max out their score, which is fine, you know, more power to you if that's what you're into. But yeah, when when you hear that there are three extra two or three extra modes, you think those are gonna play differently, and they don't really. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.